My first guest, new film, Borat, subsequent movie film, delivery of prodigious bribe to American regime for make benefit once glorious nation of Kazakhstan, open Friday. Please welcome to LA Show, Sasha Baron Cohen. Sasha, hello. Hello. Nice to see you. Hello. Hello. Can please, you... please, please. <laughs> thank you. We'll, we'll pipe in the audience later. We sweeten everything after yes, the show is over. Well, um, the movie came out on Friday, uh, the uh, subsequent movie film, Borat subsequent movie film. Congratulations. It's already a big hit, I hear. I, I'm not surprised. I've seen it. It's funny. It's strangely touching at times. It's, it's for those of you who haven't seen it, who may not expect this from Borat, it's, it's besides being the Borat film you want to see, it's also the story of a man who doesn't know how much he loves his daughter. That's right. It's, um, it's a family movie. <laughs> it is actually bizarrely it, it a family is. movie. It that actually is. The it is. Take the whole family. Yeah. The last time there was a Borat film, uh, in 2006, Donald Trump wasn't president of the United States. Um, but it was all, everything there was leading up to this moment, I'm sure. Now Donald Trump himself has uh, spoken out on the film. He called you a creep and a phony. Do you have any defense against those two accusations? Um, well, I'm sure when he was hanging out with his good friend, Jeffrey Epstein, uh, they probably spent a lot of their time talking about how creepy I am. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And yes, I am a professional phony. Like him. Yeah. And I interviewed the president many years ago. What, what was that like? I, I, I've interviewed I've met him twice. I interviewed him once. What was that like for you? What, what was your reaction? Uh, well, I was interviewing, interviewing him as Ali G, and the producer of the show was a kind of very handsome, well-spoken English man in a, a, a nice tweed jacket. And Donald Trump was assumed that he was going to be the interviewer, and then... Uh, the producer said, no, actually, this is the interview. He's called Ali G. And I remember Donald Trump looking at me and I'm wearing, you know, I'm wearing sort of a sweatsuit and I was like, oh, wicked. What is your name? How does that spell that? What is it? Do is you called Don Donald? And he's like, yeah, Donald. And his face dropped. He was immediately furious that he was going to have to speak to somebody from a kind of lower class um, Borough rather than this rather astute uh, Etonian producer. And actually, he sat through the interview for, you know, we had about seven minutes, and publicly he would say, well, I was the guy, the only guy ever who saw through it. He didn't see through the interview. I mean, he answered all the questions completely normally. In fact, I asked him, you know, how long has people been doing business? And he answered, well, human beings have been... Um, dealing in, doing business, dealing in rocks for millions of years. So obviously, you know, Homo sapiens haven't been around for millions of years. Sure. And they were dealing in salt. And I think it was about first records are about five to 10,000 years ago. Yeah. So, you know, he was in it for a long time. It was only really when I was asking him for money for a business scheme that I had, which was an ice cream glove, which was a glove which allowed you to eat ice cream without any of it dripping on your clothes. And so it had like a glove, but it had, you know, it was contoured up here. That's a great idea. I asking, yeah, I was asking for like $50 million from him. That at that point, he said, you know, he quite rightly was not interested oh. and, you know, made his excuses and left. Uh, but he completely believed that Ali G was real. Um, there's, a, there's a moment where you play a guy named Country Steve in this, and I don't want to give anything necessarily away that Country Steve does, but A, I love the fact that you're Sasha Baron Cohen playing Borat, playing other people, because Borat, I don't, it's very, the beginning of the film, I don't think I'm giving anything away when I say, and stop me if I am, that you're recognizable as Borat, so Borat actually disguises himself as other people, but he's still Borat doing his yes. attempt to do an impression of other people which is not good. His impressions are not good. Yours are great. <laughs> and you play a country guy named Country Steve, who kind of sounds like Borat, but also is singing country music. Kind of country. 
What happened? I understand that that did not end well, that, that, that interaction. So, that was at another gun rally in Washington State. And um, it was going great. I mean, I was essentially singing a song called um, The Wuhan Flu. Everyone was singing along. And the problem was, was that some of the militia groups that were in this rally had been antagonizing the Black, Black uh, Lives Matter protests. And so as revenge, some of the Black Lives Matter protesters were coming over to confront them. I didn't know anything about this. And they had sent some, um, some members of their, some, some of their members, Black Lives Matter protesters, to go undercover at the rally. So I was going undercover and so were they. They, so they were kind of there as spotters to see what was going on because there were a bunch of Black Lives Matter protesters coming down the road for this confrontation. And then they see me on stage and everyone singing along. And some of them really, one of them went, oh my God, it's Sasha Baron Cohen. Starts laughing, tells the other one, word got out that it was me. And then the organizers and a lot of people in the crowd got very angry. Um, they tried to storm the stage. Luckily for me, um, I had hired the security. So it took them a while to actually storm the stage. And I do have, a, I understand we have a clip of this. Yes, I haven't seen this, so I can't uh, comment on it, but yeah, let's no have a one look. Has, no one has seen this. This is not in the <laughs> film actually. This is this. We call this an exclusive in the business, Sasha. Um, <laughs> uh, let's take a look, Jim. Take them to your hand. Look. What are we gonna do with the radical leftists? We're gonna chop them up like the Saudis do, or gas them like the Germans, like the Germans do. Go, 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 go! Are we locked? The doors are locked? Yes, sit down. Yeah. Hold it. Alright. Drive. Go, 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 go. Um, that was harrowing. Yeah. Does that happen to you frequently or is that a fairly rare occurrence? Uh, it's fairly rare. I mean, it happens occasionally. I mean, this was the first movie where I've had to wear a bulletproof vest. So, you know, we were aware that somebody, actually one of the guys who stormed the stage uh, went for his pistol. Do you still use that term pistol or am I in World War II? No, no, pistol's um, fine. You didn't say Luger, so you're okay. <laughs> so he went for his pistol and luckily enough I had... Um, there was a very brave uh, guard who actually grabbed his hand and said, leaned in and said, it's not worth it, buddy. <laughs> uh, wow. Okay. That actually works. That works. Somebody goes to the business, you hold their hand and go, it's not worth it, buddy. So that was, that was very nice of him to do that. Well, I want to I, I, I wanna talk to you about the, the two guys that you lived with for five days. Can we talk about that for a second? Sure. There's a wonderful moment in this, and it's in the trailer. I'm not giving anything away. You say, can I, can I live with you? Because your character doesn't know what COVID is or that, it, that it's happening there. And the next thing we know, you're, you're living with these guys. And I'm watching the film this week and I'm going, it really seems like this must have taken days to shoot. How long did you live with them? So I lived with them undercover for five days. Um, and that meant, you know, waking up from first thing in the morning, the, you know, the moment I came out of my bedroom, till going to sleep at night. And I remember actually the first night, because obviously all the crew goes home. Once everyone goes to sleep, the crew goes home. And who did you explain uh, the crew was? Like to these guys, how did you explain the crew? Oh, oh they knew there was a crew filming. They knew there was a crew. Who, I mean, everyone in the movie know there's a crew filming. I know that, but who, did, who were you? To them, who so were they you? Thought I was, yeah, they thought that I was a foreign guy who didn't really understand much about coronavirus. Okay. But I remember, so the first night in my room, I had a secret um, little compartment, which was padlocked. And in it was my computer and my phone and, you know, my glasses. And, you know, because I, I essentially had to produce the next day and write the next day. And so the crew's gone home. 
you know, it's just me and these two guys in the house and I lock the door and I've got my computer out, I've got my phone out. And then suddenly I hear knock, 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 knock on my door. And I thought, I'll just pretend to not be in here. Again, knock, 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 knock. Borat, Borat. And I've got my computer, I've got the light, you know, my real life is out there, the computer, you know, they think Borat is this incredibly primitive guy. And I think, where the hell do I move it? So immediately I'm throwing stuff under the blanket, getting the computer, throwing it into the bathroom. Wait one second, I'm coming, coming. You know, it's like a, it's like a bad, you know, farce from, you know, 1960. Just here, just here, get on. <laughs> throwing things on him and open it up. And they just go, just checking, you, you, you know, you got everything for tonight. I go, yeah, just, I'm absolutely fine. Thank you very much, good night. <laughs> You look terrified that they were going to come in. Uh, we have to take a quick break, everybody, but stick around. We'll be right back with more Sasha Baron Cohen.